My intuition is telling me there'll be better days. What's up fam? Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be my July favorites. I got some hair care, I got some makeup, I got skincare, I got fashion, I got everything. And I have like really, really good stuff this month. It is my birthday month and everything, so you know I had to make it extra special. So if you would like to see my favorite products for the month of July, then keep on watching. And if you do like this video, please let me know by giving it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel before you leave. Alright, let's get into it. But first, can we talk about the shirt? <laughs> I just made it. I, yes. I was like, I have to have a shirt that says that. I have one that says straight out of night shift, but this one, it's so much more meaty. <laughs> if, if anyone would like one, I can make it and list it on my Etsy site, so let me know, I guess, in the comments. But let's talk about some products. So, I have one hair care product. I'm just going to talk about that real quick, get it out of the way. It is this Living Proof Full Thickening Cream. And... I love Living Proof products so, so, so much, and I I love the smell of them, too. I don't even know how to describe it, but it's like they're the only brand that has, that I've ever smelt whatever the scent is before, and I just really enjoy it. It's not anything, like, rec very recognizable, like floral, or it's really hard to explain, but I haven't been, I don't blow dry my hair that often these days, but when I do, I have been using this, and I can definitely tell that it increase, increases the volume and body of my very fine hair when I do blow dry it, and yeah, I have just really been enjoying this, and I did get this from my June Boxy Lux. All right, let me... I have one skincare product as well. Oh my god. It is this Sunday Riley CEO Vitamin C Rich Hydration Cream. Oh, I was so am so in love with the CEO serum and then I got this in my Ipsy Plus and I have been going like ham on it. Oh. It is it smells identical to the serum like has like an orange -ish, an orange scent, vitamin C scent. And it's just so it's like a it's creamy and it's hydrating, but it also feels like it kind of tightens your skin. And my skin looks really like plump and hydrated after I use this. I yeah. I'm in love with this. All right, let's get into some makeup. So, I don't know why I didn't talk about this last month, but this has been like my favorite palette for the past two months. And it is the ColourPop Sweet Talk Palette, Pressed Powder Palette. Oh my gosh, I am obsessed with this. Like, you guys don't even know. I think it is just the most beautiful palette and I can create so many different looks with it. And these pressed glitters, are everything they are so good and they doesn't even do it justice to show it on camera but they are like duo crew they have like so many different colors in it with a different shift and you're not going to be able to see it because of the bright lights but they are just stunning in person and these shadows perform amazingly like, there are some ColourPop palettes that I've bought that I wasn't that impressed with, like, the performance of the eyeshadows, but these are, like, the bomb.com, like, honestly. I wouldn't get, like, the yellow palette and the purple palette, and, yeah, I just have reached for this, like, almost every day the past couple months. This has definitely been my summer staple. All right, let me say on the ColourPop theme... I also got one of their blushes, and this is in my Sun and Stars. Let me take it out of the plastic so you can really see. It is like the most beautiful, like orangish coral, but it has a very, very slight, like gold shimmer in it. 
not glitter. It's not like a glitter blush. It has. It's just like a shimmer, though. Oh. So it just kind of gives like a gold reflect when, yeah, it does. It's crazy. It's almost like a duochrome blush, kind of. But, oh my gosh, just for summer, and this is very, very pigmented and creamy and performs awesomely. That's not, I don't think that's a word. No, that's not a word. <laughs> Amazingly, how about that? Okay, and I have one more ColourPop pro product. It is this Ultra Blooded Lip in Oja there. I This is my first time trying the ColourPop Ultra Blooded Lip. I actually really like it. It's kind of like a liquid lipstick and a gloss combined. It gives you like the intensity and the pigmentation of a liquid lip, but it feels like a gloss. It's really kind of cool. And this color, mm, you know I love my orange corals. I do. So, yes. All right, so next I want to talk about a primer that has been around for a minute. And I'm just like late to the train, but it is this NYX Angel Veil Skin Perfecting Primer. And the reason I got this, I got this for the second edition of my dupe videos that I'm going to be doing. So I don't want to give away, some of you might already know what this what primer this is a dupe for but for those of you who don't I don't want to spoil the video so I'm not gonna say it but this is just a really nice like velvety like pore filling primer and I have been using it a lot I've really been enjoying this so also from NYX I wanted to try I saw this on the Ulta website this Born to Glow Natural Radiant Foundation. And I got mine in Fair 1.5. And I would say this is a medium coverage foundation, but it is very like beautifully radiant. It's it's just kind of the right amount of radiance. And the coverage is actually decent. And I really like the color. This it lasts a while. I've really been liking this. All right, so next I have a new Stila Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow, and this one is in Tulip Twinkle. Oh, I have been living for this, and you know I I had like so, I have so many of these, and you know I used to use them every day. And then I kind of stopped because I was like running through them like it was nothing. And these are not cheap. They're $25 each. So I was like, whoa, girl, you need to slow down on those. So then I just kind of stopped using them. And then they started to dry out. And I'm like, well, no, I'm going to start using them again. Like I'd rather go through them quickly than to not use them and it dry out and the product be wasted. So... I really wanted to try this new shade and oh it is so pretty it's like a light pink with like a gold and pink reflect and I just remember why I love these so much you can honestly create an eye look with just these I will seriously like just put this on my lid and go and it looks like you spent so much time and effort doing an eye look but you really didn't and yeah, I've really just been liking that color. Okay, so next I want to talk about this Flower Beauty Light Illusion Perfecting Powder. And this is in porcelain. So it says it's a soft focus blurring powder with a nude skin feel. The silky lightweight formula smooths, evens, and reduces shine with a naturally luminous finish. Blurring pigments instantly diminish the look of imperfections and fine lines. Yes, it does all of those things. It, I will put this, I'll like set my concealer with a loose type of like baking powder. Not like baking powder, but like powder that people use to bake. <laughs> and then I will put this just on like the rest of my face and kind of just all over. And it does, it helps just like even 
your skin tone out and cover like it just conceals any imperfections and makes everything look smooth and polished with a very slight like radiant finish it's not like a Laura Mercier glow powder it's not nothing that illuminating it's look very very slight but it's just it's nice especially in the summer it's not just a matte powder it has some luminosity to it so the next product I've actually talked about oh my gosh in like one of my very first favorite videos but when I was on vacation when I was in Cozumel I got this for $30 it's this Moschino I love love perfume and I love love this perfume it is oh, it's like florally but then I smell kind of like a cherry in there and it's just a very light fragrance that I have loved for a while and when I saw it for 30 bucks I was like hell yeah so I have been putting a dent in this bottle. We'll just say that. Okay, so I do, I ha actually had a couple more fashion items, but I don't want this video to be like so incredibly long. If anyone would like to see like some of my favorite pieces that I've gotten over the summer from like Pretty Little Thing and Amazon, let me know in the comments below. I can do a video on that because I've gotten some really, really cute stuff for the summer. But one thing that I just have to have to talk, talk about is this bathing suit that I wore it on my vacation and oh my god it is the like like sexiest bathing suit ever but in a way where I feel comfortable I am not a fan of two-piece bathing suits the only way I wear like two-piece is if I have like a high-rise bottom I really do like that like a high-rise bottom and a cute top but I love this because it's still sexy, but it also like covers most of your stomach at the same time. And I mean, it is just, I got this from Amazon for like $18, $19. It looks like so awesome on. And I was worried that the straps might be like too tight and kind of like dig into my like fat, but it didn't do that at all. I did buy a size up, but it it looked great and I also have a tattoo on my side so I really like that I it was able to show through the bathing suit so if you're someone like me who doesn't like to show their stomach but still wants to be like sexy I definitely recommend this okay real quick I just want to talk about like some of my favorite soap designs of the month and I want your guys' opinions too. Let me know in the comments below like which designs you like the most or since. Okay, so I have a lot, you guys. All right, my first one I think, oh, I just, the giveaway is still going on, so if you're interested in that, I will put a little button right here, but I talked about this one in that video. I ha haven't talked about the other ones, but this is the blueberry jam one I made oh my gosh this fragrance oil is everything it smells just like blueberry jam and then this is probably one of my like favorite designs and scents so it's really pretty like blue and gold and then the scent is it is like an imitation of Marc Jacobs Daisy perfume which I adore and it honestly does smell just like that. So it's called Daisy Chain from Brambleberry. And then, oh, I love this design so much. I love the pink and gold. And I used Electric Lemonade for the scent in this one. And then the last one I want to show you guys is, this is, the design I mean I love this scent too rose quartz it smells amazing but I just thought this design was really cool I cut up some like leftover soap and I thought it would I was trying to get it to look kind of like gemstones and I just think it came out super cool all right guys let me know what you think about my favorites what you think about my soap designs what you think about anything and let me know in the comments below all right, guys, I love you. I will see you in my next video.